So after a long international break, Championship football is back. Let's jump into this one. Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Very happy that Championship Football is back this weekend. Return to that actually with the Friday night kickoff. As always, all you need to do to enter the Prediction League is leave your score predictions down below. And as a reminder of the current Prediction League standings, this is what the main league is currently looking like. As always, things remain very tight in League 1 as well. And then here are the current standings in League 2. As always, if you do go into enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If you get it 400, that would be massively appreciated appreciate it check out the patreon and do subscribe for some regular content but apart from that let's jump into this one and so let's start out with tonight's game birmingham going up against derby really interested to look into this one obviously a lot's being made of troy deeney's move to his boyhood club it'll be really interesting to see him potentially making his debut in this one derby are potentially coming into this game a few bodies light obviously joswack will be set to miss this one after being out on international duty with poland and they will also be without Craig Forsyth as well who was given a retrospective ban after that game against Nottingham Forest a little bit more positive news for Derby though is that Jason Knight should be fit enough to make the bench obviously he missed the first portion of the season due to that injury he picked up um, in training but I mean this is going to be an interesting one Derby are coming into it unbeaten in 3 Birmingham are unbeaten in 2 both teams drew 1-1 last time out before the international break although Birmingham perhaps got a little bit unlucky not to win that game against Barnsley um, and on the whole they both started out reasonably well so far but pound for pound I just see something for Birmingham in this one to be honest with you I think with Deeney coming you know potentially more fans being in the stadium as well I think I am swaying their way potentially with um, some of the players that Derby will be missing as well so for a score prediction I think I am going to back Birmingham for a 2-0 home victory with FIFA going 2-0 Derby so then into Saturday's games we go to Ewood Park as Blackburn go up against Luton now Blackburn it's looking like will be without Ben Brereton for this game due to the sanctions that FIFA are going to be putting on South American players that play in England despite Brereton in the end not actually going out on international duty it's a bit of a weird situation overall but obviously that gives Luton a bit of an upper hand in this one who have been fairly sort of effective away from home regardless of that sort of first half disaster they had against West Brom they obviously beat Barnsley and were fairly shrewd with their away performances last season I do see this one being a fairly low scoring one with not all too much in it and um, obviously Amari Bell will be returning to Ewood Park in this one with Luton Hayden Carter will also be missing for Blackburn after being sent off last time out honestly a draw wouldn't surprise me in this one I think I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw with FIFA going 2-0 Luton. Next up then we head to Bloomfield Road as Blackpool go in search of their first win of the season but this will not be easy up against league leaders Fulham who have looked a cut above most championship sides so far this season. As well as leading the way in the championship they've also scored more goals than anyone else up until this point with 13 goals already. The last game they had before the international break they swept aside Stoke in what looked to be quite a tough fixture. They ended up making light work of it. They could have had even more with that miss penalty late on so I do see Fulham scoring a few goals in this one if I'm being honest Blackpool have been a little bit susceptible at the back so far only Reading have averaged more shots against them per 90 I think that 15.6 shots um, go against Blackpool on average and when you're coming up against an attack which has been as prolific as Fulham's have so far this season I mean Chris Maxwell is going to have to have the game of his life in this one so for a score prediction I mean the it's the championship anything can happen but I do see Fulham coming through this one and maybe scoring a few goals along the way. I'm going to go 3-0 Fulham I think for this one with FIFA going 2-0 Fulham. Next up then we go to Bournemouth up against Barnsley. Now I don't think there'll be all too much in this one to be completely honest with you. Bournemouth looked a little bit blunt in their last match before the international break as they drew 0-0 with Hull but since then obviously on deadline day they got a few deals over the line. Ryan Christie and Jamal Lowe both coming in to add a little bit more attacking reinforcements um, into the final third now. Um, with Barnsley they've been pretty fast starters in the league so far. Four of the five goals that they've scored so far this season have been scored in the first half so if they are going to hurt Bournemouth I anticipate them to be sort of like going for it from the off but if Bournemouth can sort of ride that storm maybe um, a couple of those new additions will make the difference later on into this match you know they have added a, bit, a little bit more depth now um, which was probably needed in some of those attacking areas one goal either way wouldn't surprise me or a draw but I think I'm just swaying towards Bournemouth in this one I think I'm going to go 2-1 to the home side with FIFA going 1-0 Bournemouth 
Bournemouth. Coming to the next, we then go to Ashton Gate as we've got Bristol City going up against Preston. It'll be the first time that I've been to Bristol City away this week. And if you'd like to see a match day vlog from that, make sure to leave a like on today's video. But I don't think there'll be all too much in this one. Um, only one point separates us two um, in the league at the moment. Preston had a bit of a resurgence before the international break with back-to-back -back wins and obviously got a couple deals done and over the line on deadline day as well. It'll be interesting to see if Murphy and McCann are sort of involved from the off. My guess would be that they both be off the bench. Maybe we'll see Murphy for the last sort of 20 minutes or something like that as a bit of an impact sub. But Patrick Bauer's arrival back into that back line from injury has also shored us up a little bit at the back as well. So I am expecting us to be a little bit tighter now, especially compared to how we were in those first few league matches. Bristol City are... I, I, still a tough side to put your finger on. Their home record is still really poor. They've not won at Ashton Gate since the 26th of January, but coincidentally, one of the last matches they won at home was against Preston North End. I'm hopeful that normal service will be resumed in this fixture because historically, um, over the last 10 or so years, we have had a very good record against Bristol City, but that's ever so slightly started to turn in the last season or so. Vyman looked great for Bristol City last time out, but... Now, I've got a bit of an inkling that Preston may just snatch something from this one. A draw wouldn't surprise me, but I'm going to back us because I've not backed Preston to win in a while. So I'll go 1 0 Preston in this one, and FIFA's going to agree with me. Next up, we then go to Coventry up against Middlesbrough. Now, it's been a great return for Coventry to their stadium because they've won both their home matches so far this season, both by two goals to one. Middlesbrough have drawn both their matches on the road so far this season. Neil Warnock likes to keep things fairly tight away from home. They had that goalless draw with Derby, obviously, but their last match before the international break, they probably could have won in that 1 1 draw against Blackburn. They had the majority of chances going forward obviously Johnny Housen scored that absolutely wonderful chip but just needed a little bit more in the final third for that one if I was swaying either way I'd probably be just leaning on Coventry with their home form so far this season but obviously before the international break they had that 2-0 loss on the road to QPR I don't think there'll be much to separate these two because like we mentioned Warnock likes to keep things very tight and quite rigid away from home so now, with that in mind, I think Borough may get a point from this one, but it wouldn't surprise me if Coventry walked away with all three. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw, though, I think, with FIFA saying 1-0 Coventry. Next, then we go to Reading up against QPR. Not exactly the ideal game for Reading to be coming back to. You know, they're coming fresh off the back of that 4-0 loss last time out to Huddersfield. They have looked pretty susceptible at the back in the majority of the matches they've had so far this season. There's been three games already where Reading have conceded three goals or more, which is a bit of a worry considering we're only five games into this season. They're also coming up against this QPR side who has the goal scoring touch about them at the moment in each of their two away matches so far this season. QPR have scored three goals in each of them. Added to the fact that they've added Andre Gray into that attacking lineup as well. QPR are looking really deadly going forward now, especially against this Reading defence who isn't exactly looking the strongest at the moment. Now, Reading themselves brought in a few reinforcements um, later on into the window, but is that going to be enough to get them through this game? I'm not so sure. I think QPR probably are coming into this one as the overwhelming favourite. I think they probably get the job done as well. I'm going to go 2-0 QPR in this game with FIFA going 2-0 Reading. Next up we head to Bramall Lane in a big game in Sheffield United season as they go in search of their first win of the season. They're going up against this Peterborough side who's not had much luck on the road so far. They've lost both matches they've had away from home and without scoring a goal for Peterborough. Uh, Clark Harris especially could do with getting off the mark. We mentioned him in our strikers video that we did earlier on in the week. But I mean the whole Sheffield United team could do with scoring a goal at the moment to be honest with you. Billy Sharp the only man who's found the back of the net so far. Now I mean were things slowly turning in the right direction for Sheffield United towards the end of the international break? Maybe but that's probably putting it kindly you know obviously they had quite a few chances in that Huddersfield game and it was a nil-nil draw last time out against Luton. I feel like they need a bit of a statement in this one but I do feel as if it could go down to being another goal a stroll or sort of one goal either way goes ahead and swings this one. I'm going to give Chef United the benefit of the doubt and you know the thought process that they've been working on some things over this international break. And someone, surely, with all the quality in that squad, has to find a, a run of form from somewhere. So I'm going to back the home side for a 1-0 in this game. Thief is going 2-0, Sheffield United, but honestly, anything could happen in that one. Next up, we go to Stoke up against Huddersfield. Huddersfield, probably the surprise package of the season so far, but this will be a good indication of where they are at the moment, you know. Was this good start to the season just a bit of a flash in the pan, or are they here to stay? Now, Stoke are coming off the back of that 
disappointing defeat last time out. 3-0 against Fulham, but realistically, I think Fulham will do that to quite a few sides this season, um, if we're being real. So this is a decent opportunity now for Stoke to get back to winning ways. Huddersfield, in their last game against Reading, they were seriously impressive with some of their attacking play, but I think they'll probably revert to type in this one, to sort of how they played against Sheffield United and Preston, look to be resilient at the back and then sort of play on counters and things going forward, because Stoke themselves will come into this one with quite a few threats going forward. Now, for a score prediction in this one, it's going to be so fascinating to see where Huddersfield are at, but I do think that Stoke may return to winning ways in this one, obviously. If Huddersfield can continue this streak after the international break, I'll be seriously impressed. But I think that Stoke may edge this one. I'm going to go 2-1 to the home side with FIFA going 1-0 Stoke. Next up then, we are going to the Liberty. we got Swansea going up against Hull. And I don't think there'll be all too much in this game. It'll be interesting to see if Swansea's new signings on deadline day are sort of involved from the off. You know, there's been quite a turnover there of players. And we have mentioned it being a bit of a slow grind um, a few times on the channel so far. But realistically, fans want things and they want things now, don't they? Um, last time out was pretty lethargic against Presh and they took the lead, Joel Perot with a good goal in that one, but after that they sort of played themselves into a little bit of trouble. With Hull, the international break probably came at a decent time for them because they did have a couple of uh, key players who are out with injuries at the moment. This international break will have given them a little bit more time um, to get themselves back up and going. Obviously, Wilkes and Honeyman looking like the main two at the moment who they need to get back into that side at the moment, but a decent goalless draw last time out against Bournemouth, and I do see this one being fairly low scoring to be honest with you maybe with one goal either way going on to win it and I've got a sneaky suspicion that Swansea may just edge this one. I'm going to go 1-0 Swansea and FIFA's going to agree with me. Next up then we're off to the Hawthorns and this is a matchup which I'm really interested to see the outcome of. It's West Brom going up against Millwall. Now so far this season no defence has really been able to contain West Brom's threats and the balls they throw into the box. I know that Peterborough in the end came quite close to doing so but West Brom still popped up with that late winner. Millwall finally got their first win of the season just before the international break it took them quite a bit of hard work in the end to get past 10 man Blackpool but they did go ahead and do so with a late winner of their own and you'd think that that should be the start of their season now and that they will sort of get themselves up and going for the year but West Brom have obviously had that goal scoring touch about them, especially at home where they've scored seven goals in their two home matches so far this season. Millwall do have a bit of height and physicality, especially about their back line, but West Brom have just been bullying teams so far. So that's why this is such an interesting matchup because Millwall aren't usually a team who gets bullied all so easily. But for a score prediction in this one, I think I've probably got to be back in West Brom for it, really. I'm going to go 2-1 West Brom with FIFA going for a 0-0 draw. And there's our last game of the weekend to go ahead and predict. We have Nottingham Forest going up against Cardiff. What a game this is in Chris Hewton's Nottingham Forest career. It does feel like if they don't get off to a good start in this one, God forbid if Cardiff take the lead early on, the crowd really could turn and things would get quite messy from then on. I remember, I think it was last season, was it when Cardiff won this fixture 2-0? Uh, Keith Moore scored a brace in that one, I think, and I believe that Keith Moore should be back and available for Cardiff in this one. I think that um, he has had to isolate recently due to being in close contact with someone with COVID-19, but I believe he will be back in time for this fixture, which is another benefit for Cardiff. Now, Forrest last time out had that one all draw with Dolby. They got back into that game um, later on, obviously. They really couldn't for it to lose that match, especially with how they started the season. Cardiff themselves were pretty disappointing, to be honest, last time out, as they lost against Bristol City. For a prediction in this one, I think Cardiff may edge this one, you know. I'm still unsold on Forest and their sort of attacking options, so we'll wait and see if they do grow into this season or if a change is needed there. Score prediction, I'm going to go 2-0 Cardiff for that one, with FIFA saying it'll be a goalless draw. But guys, there we have it. Those are my championship predictions. Very happy to have championship football back this weekend after the international break. As always, make sure to get your score predictions in the comments down below and get yourself onto the prediction league. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. Apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.